Hello, hello, it's me again, and um, a quick video. I'm going to do two pour overs. Same coffee, same brew method. I'm going to do a different pour with each one, and we'll see what happens. For the first pour, um, I'm going to use the method a lot of people are using in the shops, um, which leaves a kind of a V shaped cone inside the V60. Um, you get this kind of, it'll go around the sides like that. Um, the second one I'm going to do is something that Scott Rao recommended, and it's um, it's to to avoid that V shape. You want to end up with actually a bit of a, a dome. Uh, avoids uh, what he calls high and dry ground being under it. Right, said Fred. Anyway, let's get together, one each end and steady as we go. <laughs> Tried to shift it, couldn't even lift it We was getting nowhere And so we had a cup of tea And right said Fred, give a shout for Charlie Up comes Charlie from the floor below After straining, even and complaining We was getting nowhere And so we had a cup of tea And Charlie had a think and he thought we ought to take off all the handles And the things what held the candles but it did no good, well I never thought it would All right, said Fred, have to take the feet off To get them feet off, wouldn't take a mo Took its feet off, even took the seat off Should have got us somewhere, but no So Fred said, let's have another cup of tea And we said, right on All right, said Fred, have to take the door off, need more space to shift the so-and-so. Bad, bad twins is taking off the inches and it got us nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea and right, said Fred, have to take the wall down, that there wall is gonna have to go. Took the wall down, even with it all down, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea And Charlie had a think and he said Look Fred, I've got a sort of feeling If we remove the ceiling With a rope or two we could drop the blood through All right, said Fred Climbing up a ladder with his crowbar Gave a mighty blow Was he in trouble? Half a ton of rubble Landed on the top of his dome so Charlie and me had another cup of tea and then we went home. I said to Charlie, we'll just have to leave it standing on the landing, that's all. You see, the trouble with Fred is he's, he's too hasty. Now, you never get nowhere if you're too hasty. Just do a pre wet. Right. I ground it on level on number 14 on the Gadget Classic, and for the second one, I'll grind it on 18 and 19. The reason is when you do the Scott Rao method, you end up with more of the grinds actually involved in the extraction, which means there's more resistance, which means it's slower, so it's. Uh, it needs to be coarser, otherwise it will clog. That's what I was trying to say. Right, now this one, this method involves just pouring all of it pretty much in one go. And you'll see it goes right up the sides. There we go. And we'll just leave that. About two minutes for that. Okay, so this one comes in at, um, when you take the scaling into account, it's 0 0.85. The other one is 1.0304. So that one was stronger than this one. Um, which kind of makes sense because we know that the way that we've done this one, some of the grinds are under extracted and left up in the V-shape in the cone, just as Scott Rowe was indicating. 
Um, also has to do with the grind. I mean, I ground finer on this, so you would think that potentially there would be um, a, a higher extraction, a higher strength, a higher TDS, um, but there isn't, it's lower. So, so how did the test? This is the, um, the, the one with the V-shaped cone. Quite, um, that's quite good. It has a sourness. This is the Scott Rao one. I mean, it's just it's just a much nicer cup. It just tastes so much better. It's rounded. It's it's balanced. Um, it's got the complexity in there. It's just a kind of, I mean, that's a nice cup as well, but there's, there's a bitterness to it, um, or a sourness. Mm, it's grassy. Just look at the cone under the light. Uh, okay. You can see through there and see that it's not all, up, the, the grinds are not all the way up the side. They're kind of flat at the bottom. And here's a slightly better view of what, what this one looks like afterwards. I mean, you know, it's a much prettier cone. Can't fault that. But it doesn't work as well. And what people, I think, do in the shops to, to get around this, the, the fact that it's, it under-extracts, is that they, they, they increase the dosage. And it's what James Hoffman is calling overdosed and under-extracted. Yeah. Take what you want from this really, but I, I do think the Scott Rao method is, is the better of the two. You use less grounds, I think it's more controllable rather than just leaving the extraction to work on its own and the only factor you've got to adjust is the grind. You, you can get in there and you can, uh, you can spin it, you can, you can read the bloom and see, because that bloom is actually causing turbulence. That turbulence results in more extraction. You can read it and you can adjust to it rather than just letting it do its own thing. Okay, bye.